All right, Patriots family, thank you guys for joining us. Before we do anything officially, just wanted to open up in a word of prayer and give God the glory for uh, what this is and what this means in the lives of these three special ladies. Uh, so let's go ahead and pray. Lord, we thank you so much for your goodness in our lives, God, and even for the recent successes and victories of our girls' softball team, uh, which is great news coming today. But we're thankful today for these three lives here, God, of Yami Tati and Nat, Lord, uh, Lord, getting ready to um, officially embark on the next step of their journey. We thank you where you've brought them to thus far and know that you only have incredible plans for them going forward. And so we ask a uh, head of protection for them as they enter into a new chapter. God, with new faces, new teams, new coaches, uh, but God, that you would continue to bless them and grow them into the young ladies you're calling them to be. And we thank you for this opportunity that they have before them to continue to play the game they love so much. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Turn over to our athletic director, Coach Chris Brinkman. Good afternoon. Uh, it's a special day for uh, not only Lady Patriot softball, but also Patriot athletics. So on behalf of our administration and the athletic department, uh, we'd like to congratulate each of you uh, on signing today with St. Thomas University. Congratulations, ladies. It's one of, you know, I was thinking the other day, uh, just for a little context. Um, so this is my 27th year here at the school. It's the first year I haven't been involved in softball. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the largest, if not one of the largest signing classes we've had. These three ladies and then Fia makes four. I can't remember ever having four people sign, in here signing on signing day. That's a pretty special thing for this group of seniors, which of course includes these three ladies. We've never had three sign at the same university before. That's another really cool, cool deal. Um, so it's just, it's it's really cool to see this happen. I don't, it's it's really hard, to be honest with you. Um, it's not only about your hard work, but it's about coaches recognizing your hard work and being able to, to say, this is a person who I want to invest in for the next four years. The difference between high school and college is college coaches get to pick. High school coaches don't. High school coaches get and then go do. College coaches, so you have three ladies who are chosen by a coach to be part of a program for the next four years with the idea that, that they're going to make that program better. And so I think that's an, that's an important thing to remember in terms of, of these ladies and what they're, they're what the, the college coach, the coach at that level, sees in them. Um, you know, I only know Tati and Gabby, I've only known them for a year, um, but they were endearing to me, right? And so they everything we asked them to do, they did. They, they worked hard at it. They always tried to accomplish um, everything to the best of their ability. And for the year that I had them, I could not ask for any any different on the field in terms of players, um, in terms of what they chose to do and how they went about their business. And so I can speak to that. And they're great young ladies, and St. Thomas is getting pretty good. I don't know like, what their plans are in terms of what St. Thomas is using for, but they're getting some good softball players. Nat, on the other hand, <laughs> I've known Nat for four years now, so I got to coach her for three. Um, Nat's, a, Nat's one of those unique individuals who plays several positions really, really well. Um, and so that, that is always a dilemma for a coach. You know, do I play her here? Do I play her there? Where, where does she fit? Um, I understand she's going to say Thomas to catch, which is a very, she's very good at that. She's very good at third two. Um, that's always, for me, it's always been about determination. There's been times where I thought, I thought Nat should be counted out and that came through and that, that made sure the job got done. And so for me, that's always been what Nat said. She's always been kind of the steady, right? Whatever was swirling around her, Generally, not kind of accomplish the job she needed to accomplish. So that's a really good compliment in our sport when it's a failure sport that people tend to be controlled by their failures. Not ne never was. Not just plowed through. She she got the job done when necessary, and you could always rely on that to do her job. And so I'm very proud to have been part of their careers in whatever shape or form I was. And like I said, uh, the more I thought about it, it's just a really cool deal. They're part of one of the largest signing classes we've ever had. For one university to recognize three girls from the same school is very unique. And then, like I said, for the coaches to commit to these girls for the next four years says a lot about them in terms of players, but more importantly, probably with their character. And so that's a very important thing for us. And so, ladies, congratulations. Good job. It all paid off. <laughs> yeah. I want to start off by thanking all my coaches for helping me, helping me get where I am today. One person I would personally like to thank is Mr. Stemmer. He has helped me get past all my mental blocks during games. He's helped me to grow to be the person I am today on and off the field and always lead with my heart no matter what. I also want to thank Coach Roger.
for encouraging me to always give 100% playing softball and has taught me to give 100% in everything I do. And lastly, I would also like to thank my parents for being always my number one supporter in everything. To start, I want to thank my parents for getting me into softball and always pushing me to keep going no matter what. And of course, for putting all the time and money into me. Um, I'd like to thank my siblings, especially Bobby, for being by my side through it all and being there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and for being there even on my bad days. I'd like to thank Coach Sever for opening me to FCS and along with Coach Roger for giving me the opportunity to play second base and for being two amazing coaches here at Florida Christian. I would like to also thank Coach Jean and Coach Walter who couldn't make it today for not only being the first two coaches that took my sister and I to show places, but for also being the first two coaches to mold us into the people who we are today and in our softball. I'd like to thank Coach Chunky for showing me exactly what it means to have serious and fun moments in anything we do. And lastly, um, although you we weren't exactly my coach, in specific, I'd like to thank Jenny for always being there for me and always giving me words of advice. First, I'd like to thank my family for not only getting me into the sport, but for also motivating me and inspiring me to do the best I can. I will forever be grateful to have such a supportive family. I'd like to thank Gabby for always picking me up and for being one of my biggest inspirations. Next, I'd like to thank all the coaches who have played a role in my softball game. I hope I have and continue to make you all happy. I'd like to thank my pitching coach, Coach Jen. I am forever grateful to have you as you would. And I'd like to thank you for getting me to where I am today. Not only in softball, but in my confidence. To my first ever travel coach, Walter, I'd like to thank you for building me in the travel line and for pushing me to put my best. Next, I'd like to thank my most recent travel coach, Coach Jen. Yeah, no, I mean, you have not only pushed and motivated me, but you've also helped me gain my confidence in all the gym, and you've also helped me find the love I have for the sport, and helped me realize how much fun it is. And I'd like to thank you for the vision. Lastly, I'd like to thank two amazing high school coaches, Coach Summer and Coach Roger. Thank you, Summer, for helping me feel welcome after transferring last year, and for making high school season a joy. Lastly, thank you, Roger, for challenging me in the outfield, and for always having a positive attitude here. 